In December 1955, the Tecumseh Products Company purchased the Lawson Engine Factory from Hart Carter Company. Tecumseh Company has its own airport near Tecumseh, Michigan, and owns three airplanes. Flying was their main transportation to Naholstein, landing at the Manitowoc Airport. The Tecumseh personnel and engineers made weekly trips to Naholstein. Many times they could not land in Manitowoc due to heavy fog off the lake. Their station wagon would be there to meet them, but the plane would either land in Green Bay or Fond du Lac Airport. This caused them a lot of delay and loss of time. One day, while having lunch with Mr. Herrick, chairman of the Tecumseh Company, he told me about their problems in traveling to New Holstein. Being a member of the Calumet County Board at that time, I knew there was an airport designated for each county in the state, but I didn't know where in Calumet. Around June 1956, I drove to Madison to the office of the State Aeronautics Board, introduced myself to Tom Jordan, the director. I told him we were interested in the development of an industrial airport in New Holstein, located in Calumet County. He then opened his large map file and told me there was an airport designated for Calumet County three miles north of Chilton. It would be necessary to have a public hearing to have the location transferred to Naholstein. He asked me if I knew the mayor. I replied I knew him very well. He was my brother. Mr. Jordan suggested the mayor appoint a committee of four, including the mayor, to proceed with the matter. Having picked up the necessary application papers, the following day, the committee of four drove to Madison. Paul, the mayor, Bud Arps, attorney, Tom Lucas, and I acting as committee chairman. We signed all the needed and required documents, and on the way home, we looked at the site on which I thought the airport should be located. The principal landowner was Hugo Hildebrandt. Knowing his land was for sale and seeing him at the post office the next day, I asked him the price. He replied, $16,500. The committee ran into a lot of difficulty obtaining the farmland, which was finally resolved by paying about double the value of farmland at that time. Governor Walter Kohler, whom I contacted personally, okayed the application on September 20th, 1956. In August, I was a delegate to the Republican National Convention in San Francisco. Our newly elected governor, Vern Thompson, and I had breakfast several times together and he assured me he would give the airport his blessing, as did Senator Frank Panzer and others. The day for the public hearing was set for January 27, 1956, on my 63rd birthday for good luck, at the New Holstein City Hall. We had a large attendance. The findings of this hearing won the approval for the airport. I was worried about opposition from Chilton. The cost of the airport was estimated at $160,000, one half to be paid by federal funds, 25% by state, and 25% from the Holstein. Tecumseh paid five-sixths of this. Tom Jordan, attending a dinner in New Holstein, told the audience that I came to his office and asked for an airport as though I was buying 10 pounds of sugar. After we started on the runways, everything bogged down, including the funds. In January 1958, I flew to Washington, D.C., having contacted Mel Laird in advance, met him for a few drinks and conversation, and the next morning we visited the office of the Civil Aeronautics Board. There I was introduced to Jim Durfee. I recognized him immediately, and he called me Adolph. Attorney Jim Durfee practiced law in Antigo, Wisconsin. Jim Durfee got things humming, and Tim Jordan phoned and accused me of going around his back. Jim Durfee said he would be happy to come to Holstein for the dedication, providing we would get Hildegard Sell to attend also. Wanting to know why, he said he used to sing in the choir at Marquette University. Also, she was his girlfriend. The airport was dedicated on June 12th, 13th and 14th, 1964, made several trips to Kohler, Wisconsin, and finally got Mel Thompson as airport manager December 1963, Adolf L. Langenfeld. I am not gay enough to share a waltz. 
Tonight I boast one of my most unhappy faults. I dream too much, but if I dream too much, I only dream to touch your heart again. I close my eyes to see your hand, your smile, your joy in loving.